Hi there, it's Mir with Engadget. We're here at the Qualcomm booth at Computex 2012 with Rob Chan Hook. Hi, Joe, Rob, how's it going? It's going great. So, you have something really kind of exciting and special to show me today, right? Yeah, I think so. I think we're actually showing Windows RT running on Snapdragon. And look at that, there it is. So, this is on the dual core uh, Snapdragon S4 dev kit, right? Pretty right. much. And, uh, uh, you know, the thing that's really cool for us is that we're getting the kind of performance that we really want, but most importantly, look at this stuff running on an ARM processor. And that's something we were just talking about uh, a few months ago, and now we're actually able to show it to you. Right. That's really That's fantastic. I really appreciate you showing it to us. So tell me, where are you guys going from here? Obviously, you know, Windows RT is not going to be out till October or so, sometime in the fall, we don't know, right? But uh, are we? Um, are you basically working with all the different OEMs right now to make sure that they're ready to launch Snapdragon devices with RT? Yeah, is this basically what this is about at yeah, this, this point? This is about, we're here talking to, to our OEM partners and, and uh, continue the ones we're working on and we're pitching of course to new ones and showing off the performance and we're talking about our value proposition and, and then beyond that just actually really trying to show off the ecosystem that we think is going to develop. Like one of the demos that we're doing is taking pictures on Windows Phone and using SkyDrive to have them show up in, you know, relatively instantaneously. Yeah, we, we did tablet. that earlier. It was really ha quite funny actually. Uh, I was like, wait, this is SkyDrive. We've seen it before, but it's on RT. Right. And so, and so you start to see then the impact that RT may have on Windows Phone and how that's going to be a little bit synergistic. And that's kind of cool for us. Right on. So, so the, the, it, it's really, it's really interesting to me to see the, the sort of the, the performance come to that, that thing that you could hold your hand and carry around with you. You know, when I talked earlier and I saw you in the audience, uh, I was thinking about really battery life and how important that is for right. the experience that we're driving. And if we can, keep, you know, draw, bring that, you know, that power profile that we've done in mobile and bring that to Windows RT, I just think consumers are going to love it. So tell me a little bit about, in terms of performance, obviously this is not a competition for you guys. It's all about getting Snapdragon devices out there in the hands of people and improving people's lives. But uh, have you noticed any, like, are you, uh, are you noticing any differences between running uh, Android, uh, Android apps and Android on uh, Snapdragon versus RT? Like, is this, is this a trick question? <laughs> not a trick question, but my, you know my usual response. Response to this is that's like asking somebody which of their children is ugly. <laughs> exactly. Right? So all of our children are beautiful. <laughs> of course. No, I'm just wondering. Like, obviously, this is one of the focuses you have is optimizing performance, optimizing right. battery life to make sure that RT, when it launches on these devices, is going to be working at its best. Basically. Right. And, and so you know, we've done strong collaborations with Microsoft, especially around like power saving modes and connected standby and so forth. So that's stuff that will come out in RT, and, and you'll probably see other operating systems do the similar things. Right on. Well, thanks. So much for your time, Rob. Really appreciate it. Cheers. So we're here at the Qualcomm booth at Computex 2012, and this is a Qualcomm S4 Dev tablet running Windows RT, and we're going to see a game of Vendetta running on this guy, right? Yeah, this is a Vendetta Online. You can see it's running in the Metro UI. It'll take a few seconds for it to load. Awesome. What's cool? you can see is that you can go back to the home and still be here and then it'll launch back up where it was. Nice. So it's just always running in the background basically exactly. if you set it up that way. Exactly. The Wi-Fi network's a little slow. So it's and there we are. So really excited to see gaming running on Snapdragon S4 and really taking advantage of the you know, right. processing and power of the device. And this is a dual core, uh, the standard dual core S4, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you guys had a chance to do any kind of battery benchmarks or anything like that at all on, uh, on these? With our, with our team? No, no, we haven't. Not that we've disclosed, no. And any other uh, benchmarks on, on performance? Like, does it perform better than, say, the same game on Android, for example? We haven't done those type of No, you haven't tried like that just yet. But definitely excited to see it running, no, it's, showing games, and it's you know, pretty awesome. Things are going back and forth. We've said, uh, back like, into the home screen. Back into the home screen, running between the two. Right on. Awesome. Thanks. So you're taking a picture here with a Lumia 900 and sending it to SkyDrive, right? And now we should see it pop up on the beautiful Qualcomm tablet running Windows RT.
And there it is. Awesome. So this is just one of the many different Windows RT demos for Qualcomm's Snapdragon S4. And there it is on a TV connected to the tablet.